this is not my perverse fantasy. Kirk Hammett told about that in an interview. Hi friends, it's Andrei Vasilenko, musician, teacher and a big fan of Metallica. This summer we celebrate 30 years of the Garage Days EP. This was the first recording with Metallica featuring Jason Newsted. They had several reasons to record it. So guys we were just hanging out and playing some covers like it was few years before. That's why it's named Garage Days Re Revisited. 11 years later Metallica enters studio to do the same, to play covers and tape them. Moreover, they already had enough covers recorded over the years. So we have the double album of Metallica called Garage Inc, which brought them new listeners and a Grammy. And also it happened to be the last studio recording with Jason. And what's now? Are there enough preconditions to make a new album with covers? Condition 1. A desire to do that. The band has it, according to the interview. Condition 2. Marketing realities. Now there's a growing trend for collaborations. Plus we still see popular artists covering other artists. I believe YouTube is also a good thing for that. Condition 3. Overall brewing. It's been almost 20 years since Garage Inc. and Metallica has performed a bunch of covers over the time. So I believe the time for Garage Inc. 2 or Garage Days Re Re Revisited is coming. How would it sound and look like? First of all, it would be different in a way. In order to Metallica never steps in the same sh** twice. AK never makes identical albums. So let's start with the title. It might traditionally contain Garage, but in a different context. Who is Metallica now? That is, and what does a daddy like the most besides fishing, watching sports and cussing out politicians? Yeah, it's hanging out in the garage. So the album could be named something like Papa's Garage and the cover would be designed respectively. Something like this. So what? what songs might be recorded for it? First of all, favorite bands. Metallica has already covered Diamond Head, Thin Lizzy, Motorhead, Black Sabbath, Misfits, Ramones, Queen, Deep Purple. You see what bands are missing? Led Zeppelin, ACDC, ZZ Top, Kiss and so on. And why not play Motorhead or Diamond Heads again? In addition, it would be a great tribute to the rockers we've lost. There is a couple posthumous tributes that Metallica has performed. It's Ronnie Rising Medley and When a Blind Man Cries. So we move to another part. What already performed songs might appear on the album, perhaps on a separate disc. Firstly, the song we meet on the Hardwired album Deluxe Edition. Remember Tomorrow, Ronnie Rides in Medley and When a Blind Man Cries. By the way, the Iron Maiden cover is my third favorite Metallica cover since Garage Inc. And which are second and first favorite. I'll tell about that later. Then we have a bunch of rough as f Ramones gems from St. Anger besides. Of course, I couldn't forget about the metal version of The Ecstasy of Gold by Ennio Morricone. This is my second most favorite Metallica cover since Garage Inc. Then there's a number of recorded in studio or played live covers with the various artists. You really got me Iron Man and Paranoid, Too Late, Too Late and Damage Case, TVI, Am I Evil and also have a lot of other covers performed live particularly Unplugged. For example, Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. It's very emotional and special. And Metallica performed it in the, their style. So this is my the most favorite Metallica cover. Would you like Papa's Garage? And what songs Metallica might record for it? I'd love to know what you think about that. Subscribe to my channels if you are a fan of metal, Metallica, or you just like what I do. And become my Patreon if you want to support me in my channel. Thanks for watching. It's Andriy Vasilenko. Be metal.